In this video, you will learn how to create a control chart in Microsoft Excel. Control charts are used in production control to determine whether quality and manufacturing processes are being controlled under stable conditions or not. Currently, you can see here I have generated a control chart in Microsoft Excel using this data set. The middle line shows the mean value. Mean is used as a reference point against which changes can be assessed. And the upper and lower line shows the upper control limit as well as lower control limit. Upper and lower control limit indicate the threshold at which process output is abnormal or unlikely. Control chart is also called Schuhart chart or process behavior chart. To generate control chart in Microsoft Excel, you should have value about the mean, standard deviation, upper control limit, and lower control limit. So let's learn how to calculate these values and generate control chart in Microsoft Excel. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, you will learn how to calculate the mean value. Select the cell, put equal sign, write average. You can see here, average option appeared here. Double click on it. Select all measurement values. Close the parenthesis and press enter key. Now you can see here, we have successfully calculated the mean values. Now we will calculate standard deviation values. Type equal sign. Type STDEV. Now you can see here two options appeared here standard deviation of population and standard deviation of sample, which is indicated by S. Double click on it and select the range of cell. All measurement values. Now close the parenthesis and press enter key, select this cell, type equal sign, select the mean values and lock this cell, press Fn plus F4. Now you can see here dollar sign appeared here, it's mean that we have locked this cell. After that press enter, now again select this cell. Place your cursor at the corner when plus sign appear, double click here. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted mean values in whole column. Now you will learn how to calculate upper control limit. Select the cell. Type equal sign to start the formula. Select this mean value. Type plus sign. Parenthesis sign. Now type 3, multiplication sign, and this standard deviation. Close the parenthesis. Now lock this cell by pressing Fn plus F4. Now you can see a dollar sign appeared here. It's mean we have locked this cell. After that, press enter. Now again select this cell. Place your cursor at the corner when plus sign appear, double click on it. Similarly, you will learn how to calculate lower control limit. Select this cell, put equal sign, select the mean value, minus sign, parenthesis, 3, multiply by standard deviation, select this cell. Close the parenthesis and lock this cell by pressing Fn plus F4. Now you can see a dollar sign appeared here. It means that we have locked this cell. Press enter. Now again select this cell. Place your cursor at the corner of this cell and double click on it. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted lower control values along with the whole column. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the all values. Now you will learn how to generate a control chart in Microsoft Excel. Select all these values. After selecting these values, go to insert 
and from chart i will insert a line chart without marker i will select this one now select this chart here you will find the option of chart element click here you will find multiple option from here i will select axis title i don't want grid line so i will uncheck this option Similarly, I don't want this legend, so I will deselect legend option. Click here. Now you will learn how to conditionally formulate this control chart. Select Y axis values. Right click. Go to format axis option. Go to fill and line option. From here, you will find the option of line. Select this one. Solid line. Select the color of line black and from here you can control the width of this line 1.5 pt. Now go to axis option. From here you can select minimum value, maximum value. I will scroll down. Here you will find the option of tick mark. Select this one. Measure type tick marks outside and minor type tick marks outside. I will close this one. Again select Y axis values. And from here you can select the font size. And color of this font. Now select these values. And by using Format Painter option, copy Format and apply this Format here on X axis values and X axis title. Deselect this one by again click here. X axis title shows measurement. Select this one. Put equal sign in formula bar and select the measurement cell. Press Enter. Similarly, this one shows the date. Select this one. Again, click here and write date manually. Select chart title. And I will write control chart. Again select this one and I will format it. You can easily format X axis like Y axis. You can insert a solid line and tick marks according to the procedure as I earlier explained. I will again select these X axis values. Right click, go to format axis. Here you will find the option of size and properties. From here you can change text direction. Select this one and you have multiple options or you can use custom angle. Now click on this plot area. And by using these handle, reduce its size. Now you will learn how to format this line. Select this line. Right click. Go to format data series. Go to fill and line option. From here you will find two option line and marker. From here you can select solid line. And you can select the color of this line. For example, I will choose red one. Similarly, you can adjust the width of this line. If I increase the width, you can see here the line width is increased. Similarly, here is the option of dash type. If you choose this option, you can select the dash type according to your requirement. For time being, I will select solid line. You can follow similar procedure to format other line as well. 
Additionally, here is the option of marker. If you want to insert marker on this line, select this one. And from here, you will find the option of marker option, select this one. Here is the option of building, select this one. Choose the type of marker. For example, I will choose this one. And from here, you can adjust the size of this marker. And fill of this marker, the color of this marker, as well as border of this marker using these options. I will not explain this one. If you are interested to learn how to format this marker, then separate video tutorial is available on our channel. Now you will learn how to label this line. Click here. You can see here all data labels are selected. Again, click on this last one. Now you can see here only this data label is selected. Go to chart element option. And from here, I will select data labels. Similarly, select mean line and again click on this last data label. Now you can see here only this data label is selected and from here I will select data label. Click on last line. Now you can see here all data labels are selected. Again click on this last data label and in chart element option, select this data labels. Now you will learn how to format these data labels. Select this one. Now you can see here it is selected. Again, click here. And now you can edit it and it is indicated by these circles which are without any color. Put equal sign in formula bar. And this one shows the upper control limit. This one, select this cell or you can manually write here, press enter. Similarly, select this one. Again, click here and write mean manually. Select last one. Again, click here. Put equal sign in formula bar and this one shows the lower control limit. Select this cell. Press enter. Now you can also change the location of this data label. Select this one. Place your cursor at the line and when four arrow sign appeared here, you can move it according to your desired location. Similarly, you can edit last one. I will again select this one and from using font option, you can change the font size and font style according to your requirement. So by following this tutorial, you can easily generate control chart in Microsoft Excel. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.